y'all. So I do read the video suggestions and comments you guys leave on the videos and one of them, actually a lot of people ask for beginner videos and it will also apply to all body types. I was dangerously skinny at one point and I was 30 pounds overweight at another point and I really wish someone would have shared these tips with me. Probably a hundred different tips that I could give you guys but here are my top 10. The first tip I'm going to give you guys is have a goal and start right now. Not on Monday, not next week, but like right now, this very moment, as you're watching this video. Go ahead and write down your goals and why you have them, such as getting in shape for your husband, getting in shape for your kids, and most importantly, getting in shape for yourself. Post it everywhere, your fridge, your mirror, your phone background, everywhere, because it'll, it'll constantly remind you throughout the day to be driven, dedicated, determined, and will help you. Why you're going to the gym every day, eating that delicious salmon, sweating your life away, all of that. It'll help, I promise. Form and technique. It's extremely important when you're working out. If you aren't getting that full range of motion, you're just cheating yourself such as doing a squat. If you do a squat and you don't go past parallel, which is the sitting position, you might burn some calories and you might even be a little sore, but you're probably not gonna be getting the results that you want. You can fix this issue by do your own research. Look at my other YouTube videos. I do try to explain the movements at times, especially my 10 variations of squat. You can look up workouts online and how to perform them correctly. Also, if you can afford it, hire a personal trainer that can physically show you in person what to do. Write out a plan and bring it with you to the gym. Figure out what you will be training, what reps, what sets. So when you walk into the gym, you feel more confident because you know what you're gonna be doing. You won't be walking around like, uh, what do I do next? I've done that. And you feel awkward. You also need to decide your muscle group split for the week. The traditional way of a split is to do, you know, biceps and back, chest and triceps another day, legs and shoulders one day, abs and cardio another day. And the reason it's the traditional split is because when you're working out your back, you will naturally work your biceps because you're pulling on those exercises. And same goes for chest. When you're working out your chest, you will naturally work out your triceps because you'll be pushing. You can split up your workouts any way you want to. Mine is a little bit different. I like to train glute and hamstrings, biceps and triceps shoulders and calves, quads, and then back, oblique, and abs. The reason I do my split that way is because I like to train legs twice a week. I don't want to isolate a whole day just to do chest workouts. And also, I like to get my arms um, out of the way in one day so they're just, they stay small and toned the rest of the week. You can do your split any way you want. Um, that is all preference. Also, how many reps and sets to do? For a beginner, I would suggest doing four different exercises per muscle group. So four for biceps, four for triceps, and doing three sets of 12 to 15. Of course, there's all these different variations, but that is a perfect beginner way to start. Find an area in the gym to do your stretches. While you're doing these stretches, you can kind of look around the gym and see where everything is located. This will help prepare you. When you walk upstairs, you're not like, oh, where's everything? But stretching, is also important when you're lifting weights because you're really help lengthening those muscles. Stretching them out, you're helping put blood flow into those muscles before you start working them out. What kind of stretches to do? You can look up all these different ones. Try to do at least five. Hold each of those stretches for 30 seconds and repeat twice. You can even do 10 different ones if you want. It's up to you, it's your preference. Start easy and progress. I've known some beginners, and I've been that beginner, where you just you walk in the gym, you wreck shop, and then you don't come back for a month because you are so sore and scared from doing that again. That is no fun. Don't do that. Make sure you're performing each exercise slowly and with good form. And if you're doing, let's say, three sets of 12 reps on an exercise, and on that 12th rep, you set down the weight and knew you could have done 15 reps, up the weight. You want to be careful but also challenge yourself. And when it comes to resting between sets, try not to rest longer than 30 to 60 seconds. Some exercises are circuit training and I'm a huge fan of that. And it counts for cardio. It's like a win-win. I hate cardio. I'll do anything to avoid cardio so circuit training is great. Perfect. Sometimes you'll see bodybuilders they will do, you know, five reps of something and then they'll go walk around, go text, go get a drink of water, flirt with some girl and then come back because they want to get their heart rate all the way down to resting. The best time to work out is whenever you have the most energy. So for me, it is right when I wake up, 
drink my coffee, have my big breakfast, and I head off to the gym. By the end of the day, I'm too lazy, too tired, I don't want to do anything. I make it a point to go early in the day, but it doesn't always happen. Sometimes I go at midnight, sometimes I go at 10 p.m. Whenever you can get your workout in, that's the best time. I think this is a very common question that a lot of you guys have asked me too on my YouTube channel, as well as my Instagram. Facebook, all of those, and it's how to get through intimidation, especially for females. I mean, you walk into the weightlifting section and it's all males, and the truth is, it's hard not to feel intimidated and nervous about something when you're not an expert. I bet when you first started working, your very first job, you were a little unsure of yourself, or nervous, and probably intimidated. I know I was. My first job was an athletic shoe store called Athlete's Foot. And yes, it was very intimidating. I didn't even know anything about working out back then. I was 16 years old. The same goes for weightlifting. I felt very intimidated and awkward when I first started working out, especially when you're alone. You feel like everyone's looking at you and laughing at you for, for doing things incorrectly. You think you're gonna be on one of those memes, like what not to do at the gym. But all those people that I thought were staring at me, I can't tell you what they look like. I can't tell you any of their names, nothing. So try not to pay attention to the people around you because most of the people that go there are there to better themselves physically and mentally. They're there for themselves, not to stare at a bunch of other people. If you still feel intimidated, get yourself a pair of obnoxious headphones. I've seen some for like $20 at Walgreens. They scream, don't talk to me. That made me feel a lot more comfortable is having headphones in because you tune out everything around you. All you have is music and the weight. If a guy's looking at you, it's not because he's making fun of your form, it's probably because you're a cute girl in the gym. You're probably helping him lift more weight. So just look at him and say, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, and now we're gonna get to the diet section. I have three important tips for diet. If you are serious about making these changes in your life, go get a big box, take everything out of your pantry that's bad, all those snacks and cookies and chips and all those delicious things, throw them away or donate them. You can give it to a neighbor, here neighbor, take my fat food, and then go to the fridge and freezer. You know those delicious little Totino's pizzas in your freezer? Toss it. And those delicious little breakfast sandwiches, get rid of them. And all of those frozen french fries, diabetes in a bag. Once you've gotten rid of all these things in your freezer, fridge, pantry, then it's time to make a grocery list. I give detailed grocery lists to all my clients, suggesting brands, what to look for, what not to look for. But as a few suggestions, stay away from the middle aisles in a grocery store. The middle aisles are gonna be where all the packaged, long shelf life preservative foods are gonna be at. And really, 90% of the food that you're gonna buy is gonna be in the fresh food areas, the refrigerator sections. That's where you're gonna get all your vegetables, your fruits, your lean meats, eggs, orange juice. 10% of it will be from the middle aisles. That 10% will be things like nuts, oils, steel cut oats, brown rice, quinoa, seasonings. Once you get home from grocery shopping, it's all about being creative with your healthy meals and snacks, which is gonna be another video very soon. I have that on my list. Just to make a video on like healthy, fun, creative snacks. You're probably gonna make a few mistakes along the way, and it's okay. You're probably gonna eat that chocolate. You're probably gonna have that donut, that piece of cake, cheesecake, pizza. And it's okay. You're allowed to reward yourself with empty calories now and then. The real challenge is making sure those rewards aren't frequent and they're not every day. I have a cheat meal once a week, sometimes twice a week, but I also lift very heavy and very frequently. And I love donuts. No regrets. Always, always, always eat before you work out, no matter what. If you haven't ate and you're on your way to the gym, stop at a, a convenience store and pick up a protein bar, something. Your body needs that fuel to be able to lift weights. If you give your car watered down fuel or not the right fuel, you can't be mad at it for not working correctly because you're not fueling it the right way. Exercising on an empty stomach will cause breakdown of muscle tissue. So instead of using fat or food as energy, it's gonna be using your hard earned muscle and that, that sucks. Don't do that. Great pre-workout snacks would be berries, bananas, rice cake, peanut butter, protein pancake. Post-workout is also important. Really try to get your protein shake in right after your workout. And try to find a protein that is low in carbs and sugar as well as high in protein. Okay, so 
Supplements are exactly what they sound like. They are supplementing for something. In a perfect world, I would eat my 19 servings of vegetables and make sure every food I ate had exactly the amount that I needed in them. But I will not obsess over my food. I am too busy, you're too busy, we don't have time for that. And I don't wanna carry chicken around everywhere. It's weird and it smells gross. Oof. So that's where supplements come into place and they are very beneficial. For every beginner, you need your protein for after your workout, you need this. Unless you wanna carry that smelly chicken around, you need your protein and you need to take it right after your workout. A lot of beginners are like, I lack motivation, I don't have the energy to do it. Use a pre-workout, pretty sure you'll go after that or you'll scratch your face off. Be careful with those pre-workouts. They can be very potent and Something I always recommend too is a liquid fish oil. And it's not that gross. You just chase it with some fresh squeezed orange juice and it's delicious. <laughs> so those three supplements with a good multivitamin as well is perfect, that's all you need. And that concludes the beginner workout guide. I hope that these were helpful to you. In the future, I'm gonna have another beginner workout video. It's gonna be day in the life of a beginner. And I'm gonna be using my sister as an example. I'm gonna be showing you guys what meals I'm gonna have her eating, what supplements she'll be taking, and what workouts she'll be doing too. So that will be the next beginner video, and I don't know when I'm gonna be uploading that, but it will be soon. Also, the next video will be me traveling to LA to the LA Fit Expo. So if you guys are going that to that, stop by the Anonymous Talent booth. I'll be there just hanging out, chilling. I have someone, two people coming, and they're going to be taking a lot of video footage. So you'll probably see yourself on the next YouTube channel. I am so close to hitting 10,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. And once that happens, I want to be uploading videos twice a week. So you guys get more footage, more information. Thank you guys. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see y'all next time.